Hello everyone, so today I want to show you four different types of watercolor papers that you can use for very fluid watercolor and ink paintings. So I'm going to test these papers out on Aerocolor acrylic ink. I really love this ink because it's very vibrant and very fluid. So the first type of paper that I'm going to test out is by Kenton Moulin Du Roy. It is 140 pounds, 300 GSM. You can see up close that it is very textured, it's very thick. I really love this paper. It is like the second best paper in my opinion to arches. I use arches most of the time. So I'm going to put a little bit of water down and then I'm putting a generous amount of ink. And you can see that, that it doesn't flow a lot. So with this paper I find that you need to put more water down if you want it to really spread. But for areas that I really like vibrant color I love this paper. The second type of paper is by Windsor & Newton cold press the same weight 240 pounds 300 gsm you can see that it's also very textured i used to really love this paper i, I don't use it as much because I, I feel like the formula has changed it's a little bit um like waxy on the top i feel like the ink doesn't uh, penetrate the paper as much as it used to and you can see that is it's pretty light so it just depends on the type of effect that you want if you want a really light like a light wash for your ink paintings then this will be perfect okay the third paper is by fabriano i really love fabriano's paper is also in cold press the same weight 140 pounds 300 gsm you can see that this is textured but you can you can see that it's not as textured as the first two so it's a little bit smoother and with fabriano you can get it in different uh, types of texture so I just want to show you that the less texture that you have, the more flow you'll get, but it'll be, it'll dry a little bit lighter. It's not as vibrant. So you can see that it's a beautiful gradient of this pink color, but it's not as uh, pigmented as the Canson paper. Okay, so the last paper is by Strathmore, the same weight. It is not really textured at all. This is probably the most inexpensive paper of the four but it has a lot of flow so you can just you know this paper has a lot of flow um but it does dry again lighter because it doesn't have that grit and texture that an artist paper would have or a uh, fabriano rough textured paper would have okay guys so those are four different types of watercolor paper if you plan on try it out please let me know how they work out for you of course, there are plenty of watercolor papers that um, I haven't tested out, but maybe I'll do another video testing out the artist paper that I really love to use and a few different more brands. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment below and let me know how you like to use these papers for your ink and watercolor paintings. All right. See you in the next video. Ciao.